Hello everyone, Josh first back again with some more overhead. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use your PC to reroll for, of course, Overhit Global. Now, remember, Overhit is only available at the moment in Canada and Australia, so you will need a VPN to get into the game if you're not in one of those two regions. I show you how to do that in a video that I did yesterday. I will have that video linked in the description below so you guys can see it. I will also have both APKs that I'll be using today in the description below as always. And I will also have the link to our Discord in the description below if you'd like to join us so you can keep the conversation going before and after the video. And we're going to be going through the step-by-step -step guide that I already wrote up for you guys. I've already shared this with the Overhit Global Discord as well as my own Discord, which you can find in the Overhit channel. It's pinned. You guys can also grab this step-by-step -step inside the description, which I'll also have in there as well. So a lot of stuff in the description today, guys. So definitely if there's a day to go look in the description of a video from Josh first, today is the day. But anyway, so we're going to be using Knox for today's video. You can also use LD Player. They pretty much work um, very similarly in what we're going to do in the step-by-step -step guide. Also, do note that when the game does release fully globally, you will no longer need the VPN at all. So anything that I say in the step-by-step -step that requires VPN, you can actually go ahead and skip that when the game does fully launch globally. But for now, we're going to need it. So anyway, so we're going to be grabbing, you know, this is... Um, a, probably a video that you probably want to watch after you watch my other video that's in the description that way you already know how to get the game going because basically the reroll guide is pretty simple it's a very long process so if you're patient it'll work but if you know how to get the game going um you know via my last video then this process should be pretty easy for you but anyways so when you open up Knox, we're going to open up the multi drive um it could be called multi instance if you're an ld player i can't remember but both Knox and LU Player both have these. You can open these up, and you should see something like at the bottom right, like add emulator or open up a new emulator. You want to make sure you're opening up a new one. You're not cloning. And we're going to make about two of these, okay? Make sure you have both your APKs. Like I said, I will have the link in the description below so you guys can get these. So the first thing that you want to make sure you do, because we're going to be starting right now, is make sure you have both the APKs, all right? So... Have overhit APK and VPN APK handy. This saves time. Trust me, so you don't got to go through the Google Play Store trying to get the Express VPN or whatever VPN that you want to use that works. Um, and you know, you just have everything in place and it makes life simple. Open up Knox or LD Player Multi Instance, which we have done here. Okay. Create however many instances you want. Example, we'll do four. Afterwards, go to settings in each one and make sure root is turned off. Which I do believe with Knox and LD Player root by default off. At least on Knox root is turned off, I believe, by default. I'm not sure about LD Player, so you may have to check. Okay? But anyways, let's go ahead and make our instances. Now remember, we don't want to make clones of the original. We want to make new ones. So we're going to go ahead and add emulator. Go to Android 7.1.2. And we're just going to go ahead and make two of them. So we're going to do that. Okay? We're going to go ahead and open these up. So that is Knox uh, number one, and then open up a second one. Now, like I said, you can open up more than this, but you're definitely going to make sure you have a good PC with good RAM, good CPU. Um, and then when you've opened these both up, you can actually go ahead and exit this out. You don't really need it. And we're just going to let these fully load. Okay. And then we're just going to go ahead and resize these so they, they fit easier here on the on the video. Oops. All right, so we're just going to drag that over here, grab this one. And like I said, you could open up multiple if you want. I have a lot of things going right now. Uh, I have, like, a lot of updates on the computer I still have yet to do. So computer's a little laggy right now for some reason. But anyway, so there we go. Okay. So we have our – we're going to go ahead and just move these down here so they're out of the way. All right, so you got your LD, your, I'm sorry, you got your Knox Player 1, your Knox Player 2. They're right there. Now, the next step that you want to do is install both APKs on each instance of the emulator you have opened. So we're going to be trying to, we're going to be kind of like skipping along here. Um, cause at this point, it's pretty much common sense, but we're going to pretty much make this as quick as possible. So we're going to go ahead and just grab the ExpressVPN. And you can just drag, you can either drag it in there or you can actually come here. Okay, um, you notice if you click these three little dots, you have all of these things going on uh, right here. This little icon called synchronize, 
We're going to be getting back to that in a moment because that's actually going to be very, very crucial and saving you a lot of time. Okay, so that's definitely going to be something that you want to keep an eye on. It's very good. Um, right here is the APK file button. It looks like a little plus sign. Okay, and it has like three P or whatever underneath of it. That's the button that you are wanting to click if you want to install an APK. So we just go open up here. All right. Just go and it should be on desktop for the most part. And we're just going to go ahead and click both of these. Well, actually, we can't click both. Sorry. We're going to go ahead and open up the VPN first. We're going to install that. It'll say ExpressVPN start to install. All right. You'll see it pop up. There it is. It's going to open. You can click start free trial, enter your email, turn that on, connect to Canada. Connect to Canada, guys. And then you're done with that. And then we're going to go back in here again. And now we're going to go ahead and install the overhead APK. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right. And now it's going to try to open that up. This is why I say it's important to make sure, okay, make sure that you open up because this is step five now. Open up your VPN on each instance to set it up to Canada before opening up overhead APK. So honestly, I probably should reword it a little bit, but four and five should be kind of, they should go hand in hand. But yes, when your Express VPN or whatever VPN you're using that works for you, you download it. Or I'm sorry, you install it on your, um, you know, your Knox or LD player. Open it up, use the free trial or whatever. Connect it to Canada. When it's confirmed connected, go back to the overhead APK. Open it up, okay. And when it's opened up, at that point, you can then start the patch download. After the patch download starts, turn your VPN off, okay. You can use this bad boy down here. You know, the recent task button, the recent tabs, task, whatever you want to call it. And you could switch between the APK for overhead and the VPN at the same time. So you'd want to switch back to the VPN. Turn the VPN off. Finish until you get to the two out of three patch update for overhead. Then turn the VPN back on. Let the patch download finish. The reason why we're doing that is because when your VPN is turned on, downloads could take a lot longer and really be slow and sometimes just falter out to where you have to redo it again. So the best method is to have the VPN on before you start the game. After the game has been started and you start the patch download, turn the VPN off. Okay? And then when the patch is almost done, turn the VPN back on, finish the patch, then you're in overhead, then you can type in your nickname, and then you're in the game. And then you just leave the VPN on at that point. Okay? And then you're, you're good. Then you're in. At that point, you got to beat the game to 1-3, then you can do your first roll. So basically, everything that we just said to do on this one, we're going to be doing the same exact thing, same thing on this one. We're going to be grabbing both APKs, we're going to be installing them, doing the, the, doing the VPN first, and uh, turning the game on doing the patch download, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to be repeating those steps. But what could save you a little bit of time after you've already got everything situated to where now that the download patch has been completed, you're in the game on both of your instances or three or four of them, however many you have, this is when you can actually use the synchronize button, which if you go over here, you'll see it. It looks like two arrows going one way and an arrow going the other way. If you go to synchronize, you can click select all, and it'll synchronize to whatever first player is in the list that you've created. So for us, it'll be the Knox player one. And if you click that and you click play, watch this. Let's go in and put this instance over here and put this instance over here. And it'll even tell you which one's being synchronized. See the top where it has a red uh, blinking button and it says synchronizing. So anything we do on this Knox. It's happening on this Knox as well. So this makes it easier when you're trying to go through different parts of a game at the same time and mirror it across all other instances so you can get to the same point. Just keep an eye on it in case you get a little head on one side or another due to some kind of delay, you know, any kind of latency issue. You know, 
you know, just got to keep an eye on that. But this is definitely a nice little thing here to allow you to be fully synchronized. So you can do everything on one Nox and it'll do it on the others as well. So you can get to the same point of the game and reroll at the same time. And then when you've done all that and you finally get a reroll that you like, say, on the first try, you would link that account to your Gmail or Twitter or Facebook. So you can keep that account because that's now going to be your main account. And then you go through, you go back here to the multi-drive multi for all the ones that were bad, and you just simply click delete. That's all you do. You can close it. We'll close this one too. All right. Now let's say that Nox Player One had the account that I uh, that I wanted to keep on it. It's already linked up or whatever, so it doesn't matter if you delete that instance. You can always just go back in using your Facebook, you know, your Gmail or whatever you linked it to. Or if you don't want to go through the hassle of doing all that download and stuff, you can just leave that instance alone. You can actually rename it. Let's say, let's just call it um, main underscore overhit. So we'll keep it. That'll be our main one. Let's say Nox player two, three, four, five, six, seven, however many you made. Let's say they all rolled garbage. We're going to delete them because we don't need them anymore. Let's say all of the rolls you did were bad. Well, you, you would delete all of them. Just delete them all. And then go back down here to add emulator and repeat all the process that we just done. It's that simple. And in case some of you are wondering, let's go and open this back up for a second. In case some of you are wondering, so I know we're kind of jumping all over the place. Like I said, I have this all step by step, so you can always go back through. Um, I'm just trying to rush for the video so it's not too, too long for you guys. Like I said, after you've done it once, it's, it's, it's common sense. It, it's pretty simple at that point. You're basically just opening up multiple instances at once and it, you're pretend you're basically installing the game for the first time ever on each of them and you're just repeating that over and over and over again um some games you don't have to do that you just click delete you know clear data and you're good this game unfortunately you have to keep redowning the patch over and over uh which sucks but anyway you can go up here to the settings and just make sure root is turned off like i said you know that'll help if you're getting a little bit of lag, you can give yourself a little bit more or less CPUs to use with your Nox, um, depending on how good your CPU and your RAM is for your, your PC. Uh, like I said, keep your frame settings down to 30 if you're doing multi-instancing. When you're done re-rolling and you're just playing on one copy excuse me, of Nox, you can just turn that up to 60. You can turn that back up to 60 frames per second. That way you get that nice, clean frame rate. Okay, and then you just save settings. Sometimes it'll make you re restart the 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 Nox or the LD player, but it's fine. And like I said, on uh, Nox, or I'm sorry, on LD player, you may have to select 1920 by 1080 to get a clearer picture. Sometimes you might have graphical issues with LD player, and for whatever reason, if LD player just does not want to work with you, just go ahead and download the latest player for uh, Nox. So anyway, I mean that's pretty much it, guys. It's pretty self-explanatory. It, it's not rocket science. If any of you are confused or lost, feel free to ask anybody in the um, Overhit Global Discord, or you can ask me in my own Discord, which, again, you can find in the description below. I will have the step-by-step -step guide in the description. I will have both the APK links in the description um, You know, at your convenience to make everything pretty self-explanatory for you. Hopefully, again, just go step-by-step. -step. If you have any problems, you know, just you know, ask. We're here for you. I'm here for you at least. Um, and I mean, that's pretty much it. And like I said, a lot of this will be simplified when the full global release comes because then we could take away all the VPN stuff and you won't need the APK anymore. It'll be a lot easier because then you can just download the game from the app store or you can just get the APK from somewhere like APK Cure, for example. And then you can just do that without the VPN and life will be a lot easier. It'll definitely take away half of the stress and hassle for re-rolling but this is what it is for now sadly if we find a better way to re-roll i will make a new updated video so keep an eye on that and again if you don't know how to even get started um hopefully you've watched the other video before this one but anyways if this was helpful please drop a like subscribe if you're new comment below and i'll talk to you guys on our next one until then have an awesome day wherever you are peace